So this is a new segment I plan to do every so often called My Dream MMO, where I'm going to just sit back and yak at y'all for a few minutes about some of the elements that would be in my dream MMO. I really hope I put some effects over that, otherwise that's gonna sound really stupid. And maybe one day a developer will actually make this game and it'll be the best MMO ever. At least for me, I don't really care about you. So let's start at the beginning. One of the first things you do in pretty much every MMO is create a character. And one of the first options is usually race. Or species, or whatever you want to call it, I don't know. So race. Talk about taking a back seat in recent MMOs. Nowadays you typically have a normal person, a bigger person, a smaller person, a kitty person, a cuter person, and a pointy-eared person. There are little more than different skins that provide little to no benefit or consequence. Sure, they may have some racial ability or something insignificant like that, but it's usually nothing that's going to make someone really consider picking one over the other. It's really all about looks. Heck, give people enough appearance sliders to completely change any part of the body and races wouldn't really even be necessary. And all I have to say is, what the hell happened? Going back and taking a look at the original EverQuest, races had reasons to exist. Erudites had better intellect making them better mages, but they had trouble seeing at night. Trolls were hated by many races and couldn't interact with a lot of NPCs, but they had regenerating health. For an even better example, let's go back a bit further. I remember playing a MUD a long time ago where there was a race that had four arms. They made amazing DPS classes. They could quad-wield swords or dual-wield two-handed weapons. Weapons. The drawback? The armor for that race was extremely rare. It either had to be crafted, which was extremely hard, or you had to find a rare drop. And even if you did get armor, it usually ended up slowing your DPS output by slowing your attacks. So you were essentially a DPS cannon with low defense, but you had choices to change that up if you wanted to. Where are the races like this in today's MMOs? Yes, player, I understand that you have a character in your head and you want to achieve a certain look without having to succumb to some of the consequences of choosing a race. But if you've ever wondered why so many MMOs now only have varying sizes of humans as race choices, it's because so many people have complained and devs no longer see a point in designing completely different races when there's truly such little difference that it's negligible. It would really just be a complete waste of time and effort. In my dream MMO. <sighs> race would be a choice to think over carefully. Perhaps a humanoid cat race that had increased speed and stealth, but couldn't equip normal weapons due to lack of a thumb. Elves would make amazing archers, but were seen as pompous, so they couldn't barter with certain NPCs. And being from the woods, they also couldn't see well in daylight, possibly lowering their aim stat. Humans could do nearly everything, but not as well as certain other races, so you could never be as good of an archer as an elf. Perhaps even a lich race that made amazing mages, yet being evil, they were forced to kill another player every so often to maintain their abilities. Regardless of the specifics, the point is, there needs to be some choice. Some kind of difference, but the choices need to make sense and fit into the race itself. It will not only help the lore, but it will also help create a world. Something that feels real, and not just a bunch of people playing an over-glorified version of The Sims. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to visit MMORPG.com for all your MMO-related news. And if you like this video, make sure to visit my YouTube channel for more silly MMO-related videos. There are links in the description below.